Hi friends, I'm Matt from theshavingcadre.com. It's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, it's the new year, <laughs> the end of January. Uh, I need to uh, make a new video. It's been about, I don't know, two, three months now since I've posted one. Um, been busy with family, been busy with uh, um, working out my workshop and uh, work and everything else. So uh, it's time. So uh, today I'm going to be using good old Yardley shaving soap from the 1940s. Um, this puck has lasted me a long time. I bet you I've had several hundred shaves out of this by now. Um, if you can find some, uh, definitely grab a hold of some. Um, my brush today is a Sorrentino Brushworks um, brush with a uh, AP Shave Co. Um, I think it's a G5C um, knot. And uh, yeah. So, uh, a <laughs> lot to catch up on, um, but I think I'll just keep it simple and, and uh, we'll talk about the shave. Um, the shave today is uh, with a razor that was sent to me by a gentleman named David um, from The Shaving Cadre um, for an edge refresh. Uh, I ended up refreshing the edge on a Nakayama Asagi, probably saying that wrong. Um, base stone, and then I uh, used a Tanju Majiro Toshima Black, and then a Nakayama um, Tomonagura. So, if you guys don't know, those are J-Nats. So, use my J-Nat set on it. So, I'm going to test shave it today. Hopefully, it's a good shave. It should be. Um, it was popping airs pretty good. Um, and then uh, my aftershave today, I think I'm going to use Latoya. Latoya, I think. Probably saying that wrong too. Uh, not a, uh, a common uh, uh, soap or aftershave for me. Hang on just a sec. Grab my, my razor. Usually keep my razors outside of the room whenever I'm taking a shower. So that that was my pre-shave, by the way. Um, went ahead and took a shower and used a pre-shave. Which my pre-shave was uh, TDS Shaving Soaps um, pre-shave, which is one I've been using quite for quite some time now. Um, it's been really nice. Uh, I've uh, actually purchased another four sticks of it. It's kind of like a, it's a pre-shave conditioner. You can tell it's got uh, coconut oil and some other skin goodies in it. I just put it on at the beginning of the shower and let it sit on my face. Now I was planning on bringing you guys a New Year's shave right away to start the year out right but on new year's eve before we went to christmas with my family or my mom's side of the family we uh i was shaving with a double duck special one that i have which has a really dangerous square point on it or spike point, and uh, she bit me good. And uh, gave me a good, uh, probably um, third of an inch cut, and another smaller eighth of an inch cut on my, uh, on my cheek. And uh, it took a little time to heal and uh, that wasn't very cool. Um, I think what it is is uh, my face changes quite a bit when I um, gain weight or lose weight. As you can tell, it's a little round right now, so I need to lose a little weight. And uh, using that little square point, if I'm not supremely careful, it will uh, dig in. And that's exactly what happened. So I had it uh, dig in a hair and uh, 
it was not a good day. I bled a lot right before I went to Christmas with my family. And then, of course, for those of you guys that uh, shave with straights, obviously, if you're watching this channel, you'll probably shave with straight. Um, most of you guys know uh, your family has uh, questions whenever you cut yourself. So, um, yeah, awesome. So, let's see how this goes. This is my first shape with uh, this razor. This razor today is a, a Boker Elite Carbon. Never used one of these razors. Got some neat uh, carbon fiber scales. Um, not a huge fan of the, uh, the spacers they use. Um, I guess they're vinyl or something, and they do not want to uh, stay tight. The razor did take a supreme edge though. I think this is one of the first um, new bokers I've shaved with. I don't remember shaving with a newer boker before, um, but uh, it's okay. The edge is great. I think uh, for me, this blade is a little off-putting. I've got smaller hands. And uh, the spine is quite thick, um, or rather the tang is quite thick. And uh, the pinch point, there are the scales. The scales are a little thicker for me, for, for my hands, so it's uh, not quite as comfortable. Don't know about you guys, but we've got a little snow here. Uh, Southern Missouri, we're not really known for... Tons of snow, but uh, yesterday we ended up getting uh, about six to seven inches. Kiddo had a snow day, so I hung out with him and uh, made snowman and did all the fun stuff. And there we go, uncovered my little scar there from my uh, New Year's Eve accident. And if you saw on that down pass, I did kind of cant the razor a little bit to the side. Um, just to kind of stay away from um, that downward cut. Um, <laughs> I pretty much do that after I've cut myself there for a while. And the worst part is that spot is pretty much the exact same spot I cut myself in every time. If I'm going to cut myself, it's right there or right here.
And the funny thing is, it's not across the grain passes, it's not, it's not a against the grain pass, it's always a with the grain pass when I cut myself. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, Yardley shaving soap is amazing. I love how thick and creamy this stuff gets. Such a shame that there's not a uh, recipe for this out there. Though some of the soap makers can come close. And in fact, I'm sure some of them exceed this soap, but I just, for the nostalgia, I just love this one. Okay. And the blade's growing on me a little bit. Pardon me, got a little pimple going on there or something, I guess. Took the top off of it. Oh well. Kind of busy at work right now, but I'm in one of those uh, hurry up and wait periods where I'm waiting on people to send me stuff for work. So I decided to take a little bit of an early lunch today. And knock out a shave. I think I was working on a three day beard there. But the edge uh, ended up pretty sharp. Not pretty sharp, it's very sharp. Very smooth. Yeah, shave's going great. Now, uh, what's been going on with the shaving cadre? Well, we had the uh, the gold dollar modification um, competition, and uh, ended up. Uh, Submitting my entry, which was called the Demon Toe. Um, 
and it uh, it ended up winning the modification competition. Um, I had a uh, an accident with the scales. I was finishing a set of scales, which were really cool pe peacock dyed uh, scale material. It was really cool. Ended up uh, destroying those scales on accident right when I was putting the final finish on the uh, uh, buffing of the scales. I had, uh, I think it was a stabilized palm wood with a really cool dye to it. And uh, anyway, I was buffing it and the um, scales ended up catching on, uh, or I caught the edge of the scales on, uh, on, on my buffer and they went against the wall and destroy, got destroyed. Not sure if I'll get back to posting regular videos or not. Uh, all depends on my schedule, really. It is uh, payroll tax season for my wife, who is an accountant, and. Uh, Pretty difficult for her to break away, so I'm basically a uh, single parent. Until she gets out of that. Well, pretty good shave so far, guys. No complaints from me. Though I do feel a little rusty from not shaving for, with a straight for several weeks. For some reason, I guess my left shoulder is a little tight. Having a struggle doing the cross the green pass. And this soap's plenty slick, so I'm not worried about doing any of these. Little cleanup strokes here.
I'd say that's it for my shave, guys. Pretty good. Can't complain. So for the owner of this razor, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, get it all packed up and shipped over to him. I've got a bunch of razors ready to go for another friend of mine that I got to get out and including a couple brushes and things like that that were restored. But uh, yeah, been kind of busy. All right, razor is ready to go. Need to strap it up. We won't do that on video though. Excellent BBS today, guys. Nada. All right, for a balm, I hadn't really thought about that, what I was gonna use, so how about I throw, I'll use my standard Nivea, sensitive. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, I'm so out of the habit, Forgot to use my alum. Not even the hint of a sting, except for my standard spot where I always get a sting, which is right here. Otherwise, we're good to go. out my brush. That's what's still left. Beautiful creamy lather. Um, now do you guys use any vintage soaps? The guys that are watching this video, do, do you do you use them? Have you used them? Um, I, uh, I'm a huge fan. I love using Vintage Williams, uh, Yardley, um, got some some other uh, vintages that, uh, you know, I guess they're considered current production vintage. I don't know. Crabtree and Eveline, some of the older um, art of shaving offerings. I know some of you guys like Handle Barber Dave. Um, they, they're, uh, they've had some of their soaps long enough for them to become vintages. So, um, <laughs> don't, don't, uh, have a giant collection like me or him or do whichever. Uh, all right. Throw some Nivea on. I've been, uh, throwing my balms on first and then my aftershave last for quite some time now. That was suggested to me by a friend. And it's just really worked out for me. Also, I feel like the aftershave kind of stays, has a little bit more staying power if you put it on first or after the balm. This was a Christmas present from, I believe my father, no, my mother. Um, Gave me this as a Christmas present this year, this giant bottle of La, La Toya. Very nice. Light citrus scent. Oh, I like it. You know, I, I'd never really... Uh, used any of Latoya products. I have the soap now. Um, I had the soap, maybe a sample some years ago. I thought it was great, but I just never uh, ended up purchasing it. Well, I got the soap, then the aftershave, and I believe I got the balm as well. So again, uh, use the Sorrentino Brushworks 
uh, shaving brush, the Yardley, vintage Yardley, uh, the Boker, which is uh, not in the same room, uh, and um, uh, Latoya and uh, Nivea. So, uh, excuse my jumbled video. This is the first video I've done in three months. So uh, I'll get back in the uh, um, back in the track again here shortly. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, it's a pleasure having you here. Uh, thanks for joining me for the new year. Um, and uh, I will shave with you later. Take care.